Uh, speaking of LTT, did you see what happened uh, yesterday to their channel? Oh, I just read about it this morning. Yeah, crypto crypto scam, and uh, basically they got hacked, but I think it was more like social engineering, probably. Yeah. Like someone in their team received an email for a sponsor, they opened the attachment, and boom, they just got yeah, from, nailed like anybody else could have done, basically. I don't know where any where people heard this from, but the rumor that was floating around was it was some sort of cookie grabber. Uh, that's why it didn't... Sure. So, you know, normally if you would, if you have your password stolen, um, you'd obviously, if they tried to log into the account, there would be the two-factor authentication. But if the cookies were stolen, then the account's just going to auto-go into it without that being triggered off, um, which would make perfect sense. Uh, I was watching it, like, as it was happening. I caught it, like, 10 minutes after, and it went through some fun stages. Um, this, this crypto hack... I. I I don't think a lot of people realize this, but this is actually a really common result of an account being taken over. Uh, I There was an account, I, a YouTube channel I used to watch years ago called MXR Reviews, which was a Skyrim mods channel. Um, their account got taken over and the exact same thing happened. I think it's just some sort of automated script to set up the account once the account is taken over. But I think... Whoever got the account, initially, I don't think they realized what they got because they just turned it into the yeah. Tesla account. We're just doing the Elon stream that they always do. But shortly after that, they uh, they changed the icon back to LMG and changed the stream name to um, LTT and Elon Musk giveaway or something like that. They realized that they got an absolute gold mine and tried yeah, to abuse like that name. Your your 5,000 subs, uh, yeah, <laughs> dude that got super enthusiastic about a, an opportunity to work with, I don't know who, mm. like, you've got one of the biggest YouTube channels ever, yeah, like a giant media group of YouTube channels, because yeah, they got I, I don't the know other how channels, many subscribers they ha yeah, they had a few one, like Tech Quickie, yeah, they had, and, I know they had Tech Quickie and Tech Linked, I don't know if they got the others, um, but yeah, that, <laughs> you're going, if you have those accounts, it makes far more sense to abuse the name that is there rather yeah, than just doing course. the generic, uh, yeah. you know, uh, throw a stream And out. I don't want to give them any ideas for the future, but I think that with AI and, and automatic deepfakes and stuff like that, it's going to be really hard because like faking some sort of WAN show mm -hmm. with LTT, with, with an automatic AI running in the background, generating the Linus face and the Luke face on top of, of anything else with fake voices... In a few years, I think it's going to be very easy to automate. And so taking over specifically a giant channel like that mm -hmm. is going to make a lot more sense. Because right now, I think most people see the thing like, what, what is this content? You're not seeing any of the usual hosts. It's yeah. not the usual editing. It's a weird live stream that has nothing to do, no context. So you're immediately taken aback. You're like, what is this? I, I don't... And I don't honestly understand how they make money from that because... How do you not realize this is not the right thing coming in on your channel? Like, how do you not notice that it's completely irrelevant or, or a hack? It, mm -hmm. it has none of the hallmarks of what you're currently watching from this channel. But, I mean, you, you could get duped. It, it happens. I think. Uh, but what in the future, if they really target specific channels and mm -hmm. they build specific fake streams, that's going to be horrible. I think what happens here is the, the goal isn't to hit everyone. Like, that's not going to happen. But there's always going, there's, you know, there's a bell curve of people. There are going to be some people that are not the brightest who are going to see that what's going on. They're going to click a link. They're going to enter some of their information. And, you know, that's what they end up getting. Their goal isn't to hit, isn't to hit everyone. But if you get, you know, 0.001% yeah, I mean, of a 15 million sub channel, yeah. like that's a lot of people. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah. But with that, that, AI stream stuff, there was a thing that happened, I think, a couple of months back, where I want to say it was there was this company that had made this fake ad for their their supplement and were promoting it with this AI talk between Joe Rogan and Andrew, uh, Andrew Huberman. And the voices, you know, they're not perfect just yet, but when it's people like that, where they have you know, thousands of hours of them talking... You can make a pretty convincing voice. Yeah. And I've heard some of the more recent stuff. 
the, the problem a lot of the older AI voice stuff has is it's really bad with inflections. It's a lot yeah. of very monotone discussion of... It's super okay, flat. Okay, we are talking about Linux right now. This is the... This is Gnome. Gnome is great. I love Gnome. It doesn't really get that, that like highs and lows. It's no. there's no excitement. Yeah, no yeah. Faces. Yeah. Some of the newer stuff I've been seeing though is actually starting to capture that, and that's that's where it's getting really, really sketchy. Really close. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and if you can manage to to get one of these channels or, or the access to one of these channels and instead of immediately turning it into like hey this is our usual scam one button press boom we're going live you grab the info but you stay dormant and you build that fake live stream with with like a fake ai voices and the deep fakes mm -hmm. i think now now you're really hitting people really hard and now you're going to get even people that are that are not necessarily i don't want to say idiots because that's not the case but naive Sure. Uh, you're not just targeting naive people or people who don't pay well, attention. Might also just be... You're also targeting people like anyone could be fooled at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Well, they might also you're just be young. You're watching that in the background. You can you can get fooled as well. Yeah, exactly. It they might also just be young and not really you know yeah. know what's going on. Like I remember back when I was a kid, I've had like my RuneScape account hacked. Like if you're you know a ten year old, you're not really sure. You you know you're a ten year old. You're not very yeah, bright. Yeah, you as don't a really know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're not you're not necessarily aware that a lot of people might find it interesting to hack your account or to get your information. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're not aware that there's a danger of that. Mm -hmm. 